everyone, welcome to my channel, Mickey by Telly. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do click the subscribe button and click on the bell icon for notifications every time I post a new video. Do follow my Instagram because I'm more active there. For today, I'm going to wash and try out with you guys the new L'Oreal Rouge Signature Lipsticks. Now, they're supposed to be a completely new formulation. These are good lipsticks, like the new generation Korean lip tints. Instead of being creamy or silicone-y, they are still matte, but kind of more watery. I'm not sure how many grams this is. It's only 390 pesos, so it is a bit more on the affordable side. Okay, so there are 10 shades in this new formulation. It's not really in any particular order. I never really figure out how L'Oreal names their shades. Okay, 103 I enjoy. It's like a plummy shade, a little bit close to wine. It's like a Merlot shade. But just from the skin swatch, I can tell that it really is a little bit liquidy. The color payoff is pretty nice, but usually these shades have pretty good color payoff. I'm gonna be using disposable lip gloss once first, and then I'll see about doing a giveaway or putting it in my professional makeup kit. So this is what the wand looks like. It's just your average teardrop shape and it's bent at an angle. I think it can maybe even out the application of liquid lipstick. So I really like liquid lipstick applicators that come in an angle. I feel like when you swipe the color on, it tends not to clump and streak in places and it just sort of distributes the force evenly. So plus points for that. And I also like the pointy tip because it helps you reach the corners of your lips without really like making like that clown-like smudge on the corner. Wow. <laughs> it coated like the whole doe foot applicator. So I don't know if it's because I use a different applicator but it is a little bit difficult to apply evenly because the formula is so watery where it's thin you can see through the color and where it's like a little bit thicker it's a little bit more opaque so that makes it like kind of difficult to apply evenly. It's having like this automatic lip line thing. This is one coat of 103 I enjoy. I think it's still a little bit sheer. I can see my natural lip color peeking through. So I'm going to try and see what it looks like with a second coat. In terms of the less feel, it almost feels like I don't have product on my lips. So this is coat number two. Lip color is still peeking through, but in terms of feeling really lightweight, I agree. It does feel like almost nothing on my lips. And for this kind of feeling, there is so much color on my lips. I would sacrifice maybe a little bit more of the feel for a bit more color, but let's just see for the rest of the shades how they all look like. So it was pretty easily removed with micellar water and there is only like a really, really faint staining on my lips considering how deep the shade was. I think now we're ready to go straight on to swatching all the different colors. Next shade is 105 I Rule. Now this is like a kind of like a dustier, moldy, pink shade. But as we saw with the 103, the first shade, I think the colors aren't 100% true to two. So let's see how this swatches on my lips. So I'm a fan of this shade. I really love it. I thought it wouldn't be accurate to what I saw on the tube, but actually it applied really similar to how it looks like on the tube. And I was able to even out the whole application using just one dip of the wand. I was pretty shocked that this lighter shade was easier to even out and perfect. I just kind of thought it would be like sheer and would kind of need a few more coats. If you're looking maybe for a comfortable, light wearing, something I can forget, lip color, you should be looking at the lighter shades. So next shade is 113, I don't. It's like a really crimson, orangey kind of red. I expected 113, I don't to apply streakily just as 103 had. But this color was really easy to apply and perfect. It was like, mostly even in one coat and I only had to sort of perfect the edges. But yeah, this shade is like not streaky at all. For now, I think it's more like a per shade basis. Pay attention to any colors that you might like and check if the formula is working perfectly for you because I kind of find it a little bit inconsistent right now. Okay, so next shade is 115. I'm worth it. So it's still a pretty bright red, but I find it kind of like a little bit more cherry. It has a slight coolness to it. It's only a little bit bluer than the previous shade, but I think it's sort of like in the same color. Dogs. 
I think it's sort of still in the similar color fab. Just 113 is a little bit more my cup of tea. It's pretty even in one coating and one swipe. I really think it's the first shade. I'm sort of like an outlier. Okay, so my lips are now starting to stain. Next shade is 114 I represent. It's a bit of a rich fuchsia shade. It's like a really easy way to wear bright colors. I know when I look at fuchsia lipsticks that people wear, the undertone is all wrong. 114 for most warm tone Filipinas. It's going to look really great and it's going to be really easy to match. I think it reminds me a lot of Shibuya Mura's Gangnam Pink color. So we're at the halfway point and I'm only now starting to seriously stain. I think it's more of the red that are staining my lips. The purple, is not so much. And maybe the last. Okay, next is 116 I Explore. It's really interesting, sort of like brownie, terracotta, earthy shade. Okay, I don't know if it's the bright staining under my lips, but I'm not really happy with how it applied. So I'm going to take another coat to it and let's see what it looks like. So this is 119 I Explore. I think it's a little trickier to wear, but I really like this color. I think that there's so many possibilities with it. You can tend to look dead in it if you're not wearing it properly, but I think with the right amount of eye makeup and enough blush, it looks really interesting. Maybe even trendy in that 3CE monochrome kind of way. Now we're at 119 and this is I Dream. 119 is a little bit milkier. It's still like a pretty bright red orange but it has some white in its color mix. A lot of white in lipsticks tend to not look good on me. So this is a little bit opaque in some parts. Let me take a second coat to it. It's not as bad as the typical white base lip colors that I apply that tends to make me look wormy and washed out but I think it's still a little bit difficult to wear. Like I'm gonna have to think about my full color palette when I'm wearing this lip color. So the next two shades are pretty similar. 124 I Embrace and 121 I Choose. First impressions, I think 121 is a little bit pinker. I think it's a really great everyday color. It's a no-brainer. You don't have to think much about your color palette or if you don't like to wear a lot of eye makeup, I think it's gonna work really easily with typical warm skin tones. The next color is 124 I Embrace. Looks a lot like the previous shade, but I think this one is like a little bit fresher, a little bit lighter. And if you have a lighter or fairer skin tone, this is a better choice for you than 121. It gives a really fresh and sort of dainty pink vibe. And I would wear it with Korean eyeshadows that are a little bit sheer and glittery. Last shade is 126 I Play. It is kind of like a burnt terracotta kind of shade. I think this would be an easy wear for deeper skin tones or people who want to take a bold lip look and sort of play with it. So this is the last shade, 126. Finally! <laughs> oh my god, my lips can't take anymore. It's like a burnt terracotta shade. I think it's a really easy no-brainer wear for People who are more tan than me, maybe about NC35 and deeper. For people with skin tone close to mine, I think it's going to be a more of a statement lip and something that you would wear not every day or with like a maybe heavier makeup look. I'm going to go back to 124 because I feel like it matches my eye makeup for the day. So this is 124. I'm going to spend the rest of the day in this lip color. See you later. See you later. Hey everyone, so it's been two hours. So, no, I'm just kidding. Um, it's it's already the next day. So I realized that it didn't make sense to film my check-in yesterday because I got home pretty late. And by that time, there was completely nothing left of the 124 on my lips. And I was already so tired. So I just said, I'll just post like my afterthoughts on the next day. So this is the next day. I just woke up like this. <laughs> I have the 124 again on my lips. I really like this color. So true to claim, the L'Oreal Rouge Signature is really lightweight. It's almost watery. Um, to be quite honest, when I first tried it, I was secretly afraid that it was going to feel like a little tightening as the day would wear on. Just because that's always been my experience with watery kind of like liquid tints. But this one, it really continuously and consistently felt like nothing throughout the day. I really like how it has a lot of color for the weight of it. Like it doesn't feel that heavy, 
but color payoff is pretty okay. It's pretty easy to even out except for a few of the shades. So I guess you're gonna have to check them out one by one. For only $3.90, yeah, I, I highly recommend that you try this new formulation. I quite enjoyed it. I think I'm gonna keep like a handful of shades for myself. Thank you guys for watching and I hope I help you decide if the L'Oreal Rouge signature is worth a buy or not. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye! Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe.